So today I have something to show you. So I've changed the error on my calculator to say something other than error. See, now it says kid did a stupid. However, if I show you the same error on a, see, on a normal iPhone, it would say error. So today I'm going to show you how to change the error to whatever you want to say. This works on any iOS 11 version before iOS 11.2, 1.2. So this is the latest version you can go and change this error on, um, and it will work on devices between 11.0 to 11.1.2. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a computer and navigate to the Cydia Impactor website, which I'll link down in the description. Um, you can find it at CydiaImpactor.com. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So I'm going to be demonstrating this on Windows, but it is the same process on both Mac and Linux. So after you've downloaded it, you end up with a folder and you can plug in your iOS device. All right, now that you've plugged in your iPhone, go ahead and head over to this Reddit link that I've linked below. Um, click the second Dropbox link and download filzaescapes.ipa. Click download and click direct download. I've already downloaded it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Impactor. I'm gonna click run. And as you see, my iPhone has popped up. It says Gideon's 5S with um, something that I'm gonna blur out. And you're not going. You're ignore. You're going to ignore everything about this. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to take the fills at escape.ipa file. You're going to drag it to the top, and then you're going to enter your iTunes email login. This does not have to be um, your main iTunes if you do not want, wish to. Um, if you do not believe that this is, if you believe that this is sketchy, so um, you can feel free to make another Apple ID just for this. I have not done that. I'll be using my main Apple ID. As you see, we'll wait for this to work. This might take a couple seconds. Make sure to turn off battery saver mode from your iPhone. Um, it will go slightly faster. Um, we see that it failed to verify code signature. So one thing that we can do is try the other IPA. We can download this one. For some people, uh, one may work and not the other. So you might want to try both of them. I'm going to click No Thanks. I'm going to direct download. We're going to save file. And click OK. And then we're going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to try try again with this new fillsescape.ipa. Okay, so now we can see that Filza Escaped has shown up on my iPhone. So if we simply tap on it, we'll see that we're able to open it. Um, there is one thing to note. For some of your devices, you may receive an error. To fix this, go to your settings, click General, scroll down to Profiles and Device Manager Management, and then underneath Developer App, you'll see your email address that you used for the Apple ID. Click on that and click Trust. Once you've done that, you'll be able to open Fills It Escaped. And then we'll close out of this because Fills It is a um, activator program, but this is completely legal. So you'll click back, back. Oh, I'm actually not on the home page right now. 
So what, what we're going to do is I'm going to open a new tab. Then what we can do is we can go back and just click back all the way. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to var, scroll down to var. Then you're going to click containers and sort by name, then containers. Then you're going to go bundle, application. And you're going to look for the calculator application. As you see here, mine starts with 4BEE6E9E. That is the name of the folder. If Filza has not yet populated your folder names. However, um, Filza has already done that for me. So I'm going to click com.apple.calculator, then calculator.app. Then we're going to go to the language of your, of your calculator app. So for me, this iPhone is running on um, English. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to en.lproj. Then we're going to go to localizable.strings, expand out root, click error, and underneath value, you can change it to whatever you want. So as a demonstration, I'm going to type in, hello, YouTube. OK, I'm going to click back. We're going to click save. We're going to click done. And then we're going to exit out of Filza. We're going to go to the calculator app. We should restart the calculator app. If I click 5 divided by 0, you'll see that we get the error message that we are looking for. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you didn't, there's a, a, also the other button as well.